Hello, Toby from abendrama.com here and I want to show you um, how you can connect this quite affordable MIDI foot controller from M-Wave chocolate uh, thingy. I will put a link in the video description to Amazon how you can get this but um, you might find this under a different name as well. It looks like this is one model which is uh, manufactured by a company and then selling this to different companies to brand it differently so it is a bluetooth midi controller but i would highly advise you not to use this via bluetooth for performances i had quite a few uh, connecting issues doing this video here already um, so it has a usb-c connection here as well and you are able to even plug in more um, extend this pedal functionality here as well via another pedal but um, you are getting this four buttons here and you need to set um, up which MIDI messages to edit which MIDI messages this is sending via an app on your phone so I'm um, an iPhone user so I used uh, iOS for setting this up I'm not sure if there is um, and how good if there is um, a functionality available for editing this um, on Android for example so you need to check this if you're um, interested in this device yourself so um, yes, you can set up MIDI via Bluetooth, um, via um, your MIDI preferences, via your system preferences, sorry, making a Bluetooth connection and then using a free app called um, M2B, which is a free um, app in the App Store. Um, here you can... Um, Get this for free if you are on Mac OS. This will work if you really want to use Bluetooth connection here. I'm not going to use Bluetooth connection. I'm going to use um, for showing purposes here now the uh, cable connection. So um, this will now show up in my me preferences in Ableton Live and it will be called Synco as soon as I switch that on obviously so uh, let's wait and it should up now should yeah here we go it's called Synco um, if you use the MIDI Bluetooth connection here it will um, be named foot CTRIL for control okay so that's the only difference and later on when I um, live loop a little you will see that's a different midi port being used here so now the synco in is activated and i'm just using um, my one button live looper here which can receive midi notes straight into a track there is some advantage of using that technique instead of using the native midi map in ableton live so i just need to make sure that the track in port here is turned on so this one i mean and i now can go into ableton and i can select the synco here make sure that the monitor is set to in so all the midi is being routed through directly all the time on this midi track so now i have the one button live looper here if you want to find out a little bit more about the one button live looper obviously i put a few links in the video description here as well it's a really great looper if you want to loop not only audio but midi as well if you want to edit every layer afterwards individually and if you want to get some great feedback like this um, window here which you can actually change the size of and you can use as many loopers as your system can handle okay so my one button live looper um, receives midi notes or can be set up via midi notes and for example this rack and play button here i want to set this up i activate it and i press s for syncing and now it's waiting for a midi note to come in so if i now hit this um first um knob here um or pedal switch here um, it's receiving and detecting the midi note pitch and set this is setting this up automatically let's do the same for the redo and let's do the same for the delete and let's do the same for the stop function here so now i already can um, use this for recording so if i press this now it's recording re-looping you know i can undo or delete everything from the looper 
and um, yes stop as well this one particular looper here as well so now let's set this up via bluetooth real quick and let's do a short demo of what's possible here via this device really really yeah really um, affordable compared to other controllers and it's just nice for placing it somewhere um, really like or just traveling with it it's small it's really handy to have yeah okay so let's do some music And everything is looping already all fine if I want to undo the last one I could take press the this button here so now the last loop which I recorded is not there anymore and I could record a new one And I played a little bit in between, so I'm gonna delete this one again and do this new. Could play, could have played this a little bit tighter, but you get the idea. I could stop or I could delete everything in the Looper now, transport is still playing. If I stop the transport, I do this via space, of, um, for example, on my computer keyboard. So this way I could set up a quite, in a quite affordable way um, uh, via this um, controller here, via this foot controller here. I'm using the Bluetooth uh, connection here at the moment, but I would highly advise you if you're doing performance stuff, just set it up via the USB connection. So just to make sure this connection is stable. Okay, cool. So as I said before, video links are, links are in the video description. I'm Toby, cheers and happy looping.